lacquer on there, and that lacquer is quite. Tough. I don't think the felt is impacting on the Should. horn. It's not. That's not changing the horn. Yeah. The total, the color difference. Totally color difference. Mm -hmm. The lacquer. You're against all the lacquer. That's sense. the total difference. Yeah, but also, also the, um, the plastic resonators mm -hmm. make it a bit more introverted too, because you haven't yeah. got as, you haven't got quite as fast an airflow over the top of the plastic. Yeah, and it's certainly a lot more resistive. You can hear it in your playing, mm -hmm. but it's a lot more resistive. Mm -hmm. But you know, I mean, some people really go for that, so um, it's not my style of playing because I really want to like. Um, I really work with that resonance a lot, but for a lot of people, especially that being the sort of thing that's coming out of New York at the moment, it's that really sort of, it's, it is a really sort of stuffy sound for a lot of people. So, um, you know, it's, it's not necessarily a bad thing, except for me. <laughs> your, your, your mouth, that's your mouthpiece, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. Yeah, bronze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which has got quite a quite a lot of drive to it anyway, hasn't it? So yeah. you imagine if you put a stuff your mouthpiece on that horn. Yeah. I think I tried that, that horn with a um, was a not a link card rubber. Yeah. And it was really, really um, disgusting. Well, it just had so much back pressure. Yeah, yeah. It like had volume six yeah, yeah, yeah. and trying to push it beyond that was it, uh, you know, yeah. just throwing back. Yeah, yeah. So just out of curiosity. Yeah, mm. sure. Sounds like an old saxophone, but it plays like a new one. Was it clapped out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 